Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the words of the Beis HaLevi on Avas Yisrael, speaking about the negative trait of a person who really hates another Jew. Not only, as we said, does he transgress the violation of the Aftalarech HaKamaychi, he does not fulfill the midst of loving a fellow Jew like himself, he also transgresses the achicha b'vavecha, you're not allowed to hate your brother in your heart. This is a law, this is a negative prohibition in the Torah of hating another Jew. And therefore he writes, And because of this terrible sin of hating another Jew in one's heart, Nechrav Habayis, the Beis Hamikdash, was destroyed. Kedise B'yayma Daftas, like we find in the Gemara in Yayma, famous words, The bias Rishon in Nechrav Al-Avayda Zor V'gila Rais V'shvichas Damim. The first Beis Hamikdash was destroyed because of the three cardinal sins. Number one, Avodah Zor, they were worshipping idols. Number two, Gila Rais, they were having illicit relations. And number three, Shvichas Damim, there was murder that was taking place on the streets of Yushalayim. These three cardinal sins, HaKadosh Baruch cannot tolerate at all. These are the ultimate antithesis of what a Jew is supposed to be. As the Maharal explains on that Gemara, a, a Jew is supposed to be someone that is so loving and so caring, and so sensitive, and so holy, and so halig, and so lofty, and so much trying to be in line, the go in the ways of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, that when a Jew gets involved in these three lowly, insidious sins, which are the exact opposite of all that HaKadosh Baruch Hu created us to be, Hashem says, I can't tolerate Klal Yisrael anymore, the Beis Hamikdash, which is the central focal point of all of Klal Yisrael, where Klal Yisrael is supposed to learn how to be a Yid, where they're supposed to walk into that edifice, which is physical in nature, however spiritual in its essence, and they're supposed to go there and get infused with the life of Kedusha, infused with their relationship with HaKadosh Baruch Hu, have elevated visions of themselves to understand what HaKadosh Baruch Hu really wants from us, and live accordingly. If in the midst of a world where there is a Beis Hamikdash, the Jewish people, are straying to the extent that they are involved in the three cardinal sins of Eidazar, Gilarayas, and Shvi Chazdamim, the antithesis of what it means to be a Jew, says HaKadosh Baruch, I have no tolerance. The Beis Hamikdash, which is supposed to protect you and inspire you and awaken you and give you the strength to live daily as a Jew is supposed to live, you're not doing that with the Beis Hamikdash, that privilege. And that gift that I've given you, I'm taking away. And HaKadosh Baruch had the base of Migdash destroyed. That was the first one. Ava Migdash Sheini. However, in the second base of Migdash, Shayu Eiskim Ba Taira, Uba Mitzvahis, Ugemilas Chasadim. They were involved in Taira. There was no Avaida Zara. They were involved in Mitzvahis. There was no acts of illicit relations. Ubegimilas Chasadim. They were involved in acts of chesed, they were doing kindness for each other, they were not killing each other, chas v'chalila, all of the three things that they they were weakened, and that they were nichshel, that they were failing in, in the first base of Mikdash, they rectified in the second one. So why was it destroyed then? There was such tzaddikim in that generation. Says the Gemara, Mibnei Macharav, why was the base of Mikdash destroyed? Mibnei Shaya by Sinas Chinam, because they had a Sinas Chinam, baseless and sens- senseless hatred in that generation. Lila Melcha is coming to teach you how how deep is the sin of Sinas Chinam. Sheshekula Sinas Chinam Keneged Gimel Averas Halalu Sinas Chinam Hating another Jew in your heart baseless and senseless hatred is tantamount. One sin of senseless hatred is tantamount to transgressing all of the Gimel, Chamurais, the three cardinal sins, which again is Avodah Zorah, worshipping idols, illicit relations, and Shvi Chazdamim, and murder. Hating another Jew in your heart is as bad as all of those three? And the Gemara even goes on to say over there, well, which one was worse? Was it worse to be in a generation that was killing, that was having illicit relations, and that was worshipping idols? Or was it worse to be a generation where everybody was steeped with this sin of Sinas Chinam? And the Gemara answers, Puk Chazi, take a look and you will see. The first base of Migdash, they did Shuvan, they repented, they came back, and they were able to rebuild the second base of Migdash. 
The second base of Migdash has been lying in ruins for 2,000 years. Elamai says the Gemara must be that the sin of Sinas Chinam is worse. Worse than the Gimel Chamoros and the three cardinal sins. How can that be? The answer to that, Be'ez Hashem, we will discuss tomorrow and in the upcoming days so we can understand as we are going now into the, into the almost heading into the three weeks of Shivasa Batamas next week and getting closer to Tisha B'Av, this is really what it's all about. The Chorban Abayi Sheni, the second base of Migdash destruction, is all because of that. And we're going to spend ample time to describe and to explain. So we should understand to identify what Sinas Chinam is, and then Be'ez Hashem how to eradicate and wipe it away from our hearts. Have a wonderful day.